Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series. Guys, it could be generation F10, F11, E60, E61 or G30, G31 if you have one of those. And you need to see how to program TPMS sensor because you have a, a, an extra set of wheels and you bought new TPMS sensors or you need to replace one because yours is bad or the battery is getting weak. Eventually the batteries will quit working on those. Stay with us, we'll explain that guys, how to do that step by step in this video today. So before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. And if you need to buy any parts to use for your BMW, any car, practically any model, Check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. We are constantly adding new cars, so we are constantly working on problems that can save you thousands of dollars. So let's explain how to fix that now. So what we have specifically here, this is guys, uh, 2013 BMW guys, 5 series. Uh, this is the 528i, but uh, the engine size doesn't matter. Okay, yep, that's right, size doesn't matter guys, in this video. So we're going to go ahead and I want to start from the very beginning, how to program TPMS sensor. This is a new blank sensor guys. You can buy new sensors at a really good price, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from. So check it out, this is the old sensor in the wheel. Let's say we have now a spare wheel, okay, spare tires uh, or another set of wheels, winter tires, something like that, and you want to program the, them, how you do that. You go to TPMS guys, right here, we select that. We'll put the link to that tool in the description of the video below. It's a tool that can pay itself off in just one time use guys. Select yes, BMW, yes, 5 series. Okay, ours, the sensors are from 2014 to 2016, yes. Program sensor guys, okay, check it out now. We go to program sensor, loading data, copy by activation, Copy by manual input or cop auto create. We go to copy by activation if you want to copy your old sensor information and transfer it to the new one. Okay, we're going to go to the left sensor. Okay, left front first. We, okay, go to this one. Check this thing out. We go to the front left and we're going to do that to the car now. Select the trigger. It's going to read the information. Let's move that the sensor, the other one, out of the way, not to be close. It's receiving data now, it will take a little bit of time. Perfect. First sensor, okay, it's detected, 33.8 PSI. Okay, now we're going to the front right, excuse me. I didn't read the direction, we need to go in order. So here, we go to the front right, it shows you. We select the trigger. Let's do that now. I'm going to take a little bit of time. Okay, detect it. We go to the rear right, select that one too. Perfect, you can check the PSI 338, 338, 39, two on this side. And we can come on this side now. Last sensor, we'll select trigger, pretty easy. Working on the last one guys, 39.2. So, temperature 25 degrees, we select, okay, yes. Those are guys the values, okay, those are the ID numbers of each of the sensors. And these sensors now, it's going to practically, let's say you start from the front left, how do you activate sensors? Pretty easy, we'll come down here, okay, let's get the new sensor, press any key to continue. We're going to select, okay, to this sensor right here, front left, select yes, okay, let me see now. Press any key to continue, we scanned them already, so now we're supposed to Transfer, okay, the information, let me put the new sensor here and show you, okay, what we need to do now. Okay, this is, let me see now exactly where the, okay, where the function was. 
Butter is okay, butter is okay, press any key to continue. Ah, I'm reading again. Let me go back for a second. Okay, now I go back. We go back. This is left front sensor if we want to do that. We select, okay, we come far away from the original wheels. We select Y to copy and keep programming sensors within four inches. I put it here and it's going to go ahead. Okay, and read it now, check it out. It's programming it now, programming success, test sensor please, oh, wait. That's the new sensor ID. Remember now the ID A40 is the last digits, right? We can reprogram it to show you how it works too now. 0.4 PSI, 31 degrees Celsius. You can see it's out of the wheel, so there is no pressure. Okay, now let's see if we can program that sensor to the BD. That's the right font. You can see you just put the next sensor, copy, and you're going to go ahead. Okay, and do that. Just leave it, let it do the trick. Programming success, and BD. That's how we do it. You just change the sensors and you go, guys. Pretty simple. You can see a piece of cake practically. So, uh, install the program sensor to the corresponding right front wheel. Yes, and then you can go to the next one and next one. And that's how you guys do it. It takes you only a few seconds. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.